All right, this video is for all my poor salespeople out there. You know who you are. You might see some of these tendencies in yourself. Might make you laugh. All right, just take this if you are one of those people and get yourself better from it, okay? Make you aware. Um, so after having been with sales teams for about eight years, a little over eight years now, I can tell you that uh, the poor people mindset when it comes to sales is if I have it, I can spend it. So that's one of the biggest culprits that I see is, for example, knowing when your payday is, it's always the people that are tracking payday that are poor. So uh, saying things like, oh, I get paid on Friday, so I'll pay you back Friday. Or, oh, I get paid on Friday, let's go, you know, I'm going to stack this check, um, that kind of thing. Or being like, you know, oh, I got paid today so I can go do X, I can go to the movies, I can go to the mall, I can do this or that. Basically dictating their entire life based on what's in their bank account. Whereas I find that successful salespeople and business people in general, they don't care what's in their bank account. You would really never know the difference. They're doing the same thing no matter what and they're sticking to their investment strategy no matter what. Another thing that I see poor salespeople and struggling salespeople do is focusing so much on one customer. I see this so much. If you find someone on your team is talking about the same customer day in, day out, they're getting so focused on this one little macro. I mean, think about this customer is probably just too scared. This is how people are. They're probably just too scared to tell this guy no and they're just kind of leading them on or maybe ghosting them or whatever it is. And this, this little salesperson saw a glimmer of hope in there and they're just chasing it down for their life. And little do they know, they have zero chance of getting that, at least not for a very long time. And they're not focusing on the 300 million people that are in America that they could, they could help out instead. So focusing on the micro, not the macro. Uh, another thing that I see, this is actually, I probably should have said this first because it is the most important thing that I see is saying things such as, well, it's not that bad. Or, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's okay. You know, like some of these things, right? So um, it'll be okay if, like, yeah, this ch these chips aren't that bad for you. Or, you know, oh, it, it'd be okay if I just go out and do this a little bit. Or, like, basically settling, making excuses for settling and doing things that are not the best for you. So on the flip side, I mean, successful people are always looking for what's the best for me? What's going to give me the best return? What should I put into my body that's going to make me better? I don't care about what's not that bad for me. If it's not that bad for me, that means that it's not great for me. And you're only focused on what's great for you. Okay, um, let's go with one more. People who complain. I always find that the salespeople, you can't complain in this business. So salespeople who complain, you're not gonna be able to get a deal because you're gonna be looking for, oh, what's the, what's the promising closing line? What should I do? What should I say to get X result? There's never gonna be one clear path. It's like a fight or a basketball game or a football game or any sort of sporting event. You can't plan everything out to a T. This is not a dance recital. This is not a like a performance. Like This is a real life interaction. So it's gonna go a million different ways. And so if you're one of those people that complains and finds excuses and things and, oh, like my portal didn't work or uh, you know this closed down or they didn't have an email or whatever it is, like you just, if every little thing is blocking you or customer does X or this and it throws you all off, then you're what Tim Grover calls a cooler. And so, you know, as soon as a little variable gets thrown in, you're done. And that, and the people who complain, they're always finding those variables and getting stumbled up on them. So if you see these little variables, I'm sorry, if you see these little tendencies in yourself, know that you're probably one of those people that are struggling. They're very, very, very easy to fix. Just basically being aware of it is one of the main ways to uh, fix it because you're just going to see it in yourself if you're honest. And it'll just kind of turn you off so much that you'll be forced to get it out of yourself. So that's it, guys. Don't be poor. Be rich. It's freaking sweet. And your life gets better. Everything you do, everything you want to do is just better. And then you have money to top it all off to play with it with. So, yeah, getting rich is not the is not the reward. The lifestyle, the mindset, the way you feel every day is the reward. And then the, the money just makes it to where you have a little toy to play with, with all this good feeling that you have. Enjoy it. Don't be poor. Get rid of your tendencies. See you on the top.